Hey everyone, today is Friday. I'm in the studio. I've been here since bright and early and I cannot get motivated to do anything. Oh my gosh. So if you watched last week's video on Friday, the vlog, I pulled out a whole bunch of items to do little sculptures with. And I thought that's where I was going to go, but I wound up not being able because I didn't find enough items that motivated me or that fit my thought process, if that makes any sense. So then I decided, well, like I said last week, well, I'll just play in my art journal or do something. Well, that didn't happen. <laughs> but I will show you what I did do. Hold on a second. So right now I have sitting on my table, I had bought these napkins a while back to do napkin decoupage. So that's kind of what I was doing, but I was looking for some paper to put them on, which I know I have a ton of paper. As a matter of fact, I just bought some new dictionaries, but I don't know where they are at. So I was thinking about putting it on here, um, and then I went on a mad search to try to find the right glue, because I really, I like to use the, the Elmer's glue with this um, to put it down. I may put that on this paper. Just it's I, I just decided I was going to make collage papers. Um, I found this book floating around. Oops, where is it? Let me show it to you. It's just a blank book, and I thought, well, I'll do something in there, and I thought, well, don't do it on the first page. Skip to the middle, so I did. I put a couple marks on the paper. That's all I did, and then I made a couple of pieces of collage paper just with some mark making, but that's all I did so far, and it's we're pushing about the time when I have to start working on my shipping to get that ready to go, um, from my vintage business. I did have a customer in the studio today and he mentioned a few things that actually made me feel kind of dumb. <laughs> we were talking about, he was talking about vintage jewelry and I don't know anything about vintage jewelry and I should always own that right up front. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's what I was doing. And I thought I would share with you, I've been sitting here watching videos while I was doing stuff. And I am watching right now Sagita's Grungy Scribbles. She is a fabulous artist, does all sorts of um, junk journals and things like that. Um, in a, a wonderful, wonderful stuff. Um, right now she's working on uh, like little collage pieces. But Sagita lost her main channel a number of months ago. So if you either followed her before and didn't know where she went, or if you don't follow her at all, you might want to go and find her again because she's fabulous. Again, Sagita's Grungy Scribbles. Her old channel was Sagita's Coffee Stains. I, I don't know what the whole, how that happened that she lost the channel, but she did. And so now she's over here. So if you, if you would like to go over and subscribe, that would be great. I'm sure she would appreciate it. She's fabulous. Um, yep. So we'll see what else I can do in the next couple of days. If I get any artwork done. Hey everyone, it is Tuesday and I'm here in the studio getting ready to start working on something. <laughs> I was here all day yesterday all my packages were done, everything was going out the door, but I wound up having to do some administrative stuff for something that I have to take care of with my daughter. And uh, yeah, once I get beyond that initial hit the floor running phase, nothing gets done. <laughs> Any of you like that? <laughs> That's just the way it works for me. So I wound up having to fill in um, you know, with many other things that needed to be done in the studio just so that I was somewhat productive, but it didn't do art. It's not, not a fun thing. Anyway, so I am going to do some art today. I am opening the studio here in about two hours um, to the public, but I should be able to continue on whatever it is that I start. So what I'm thinking of doing today is I'm thinking um, about working in an altered book. I haven't done one in a while. So that's where I'm headed. I wanted to find, um, I went home to find a book. I have books everywhere here in the studio, <laughs> but I buy them because they're vintage and I love them. And, uh, there was none that was common enough for me 
to use as an altered book. So I went home to find stuff and I found a couple books that I had purchased a while back for the sole purpose of altering. Um, and I love the fact that there was so much lignin in them that the pages are yellow. Um, each of them has a little bit of water damage on them and this one has some foxing on the cover. Um, which I could have solved a with like a wash of alcohol or something. However, I never want to use a vintage or antique book that has intrinsic value. Now these are kind of like the um, Reader's Digest condensed books of the day. There was a whole set of these and they published books that had been in print for a while, the classics if you will. So I know that there are a lot of them out there. So that's kind of why I was thinking about using them. However, when I went on to eBay to check values, um, I know that the one um, Sense and Sensibility very likely um, could have, oh, I'm running out of time. Very likely could have value of anywhere between 15 and $30. And then the same on this one. This one may be even more value because it's a lesser known title. Um, it's Romola by George Eliot. So I'm not going to be able to use them. I just can't. So what I did was I grabbed some books that I had uh, started to pre prep, if you will, for classes that I have taught in the past on altered books. And so I picked up this one. This is a um, contemporary book. It is called um, Zero History. It's by William Gibson. Like I said, it's contemporary. I picked it up, I'm sure, at the dollar store. So um, lots and lots and lots out there. I'm not marring history in any way. Um, and plus, I had already started to prepare this. <laughs> so I had already made a niche block in the back of this book. So, um, so my altar book is gonna have a big niche in it because <laughs> this is what I'm using. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I don't know where I'm going to go with this, how this is going to go, but at least it'll give me something to work in routinely on those days when I just can't think of anything to do. I'll have a go-to point. I mean, I know I have so many other go-to points, but you know, it's always nice to have a project. <laughs> I do have two collaborations coming up though that I'm thinking about participating in. So I have to kind of keep those in the forefront of my mind as well. I have one on creating something out of found objects and another one on creating a miniature something or another. And those are both done by several people, but, and I apologize to the people participating. The only one who I know I can remember right now, the, the actual name of is um, a happy hoarder. Um, and her name is Jerry. Uh, there's a young man named David. He's also uh, doing it, but I don't remember. David, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Um, I'll try to remember to put it here or put it in the description. Um, so I have those things going on. Usually a deadline motivates me. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so I got some um, collage background down, getting ready to start doing something. Uh, you know, it's funny. It shouldn't be a problem for me because literally doing this is just like creating a collage. So, you know, it's this part of it, it should be easy. It's making a background. Um, anyway, so I thought I would take you guys along for a little bit of this journey. All right, so what I've done that you did not get to see is I used one of the stencils that I pulled out and I stenciled that or I sprayed with the walnut spray. Then I took Dr. P.H. Martin's uh, Bombay India ink and I put some black marks on here and some white. The white is, doesn't really do a whole lot, um, but that's what I did there. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna go next with this. So I think now I'm going to just stencil through here with some stays on timber brown ink. See how that goes.
All right, so now that I've got the background down and I have it all edged, I'm thinking I want to do something fun. Um, that's the cool thing about altered books and junk journals. So I have this little envelope that doesn't really go to anything. I think I'm going to decorate this and make it as a little flip right down here at the bottom. So that's the next step. All right, so this is where I'm at here. I'm not sure how much I showed you of this, but I, then I worked on this little envelope. It is going to be taped down this way and it will flip down. And I don't know what I'm gonna tuck in there, but that's gonna be a little tuck spot for something. So it's gonna go here on this journal. It's a little busy for me. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that. We'll see, um, you know, to take down the busyness. Maybe I'll send it to the back by making this darker um, or bring it to the front, whatever. Whatever I'm talking about, I need to do something. But that's where I'm at in the process right now. So I'm at this point now. I pulled this piece of beautiful vintage um, lace over because um, I really have always liked the contrast between something really grungy and beautiful lace. But I'm not sure um, if I like the contrast here. But at any rate, if I do put this down, I'm only going to attach it here at the top so that it'll be a flip and then that way too I can always remove it or someone can remove it if we want to use the vintage lace at some point in time. So here's my little flip down and that's what we've got going on there again. We can um, put something in this little envelope here if we want to. So I needed some sort of an image to go in here, and I f was flipping through all of my Tim Holtz paper dolls. I have lots of great images for myself, but the problem is is that I have to print them, and I don't have very many that are already ready to go. So I grabbed some of these, um, and I liked this bridal one for some reason. Um, actually, I put this here before I pulled out the lace, to be honest with you. And I like how that looks there. So what I've done is I'm going to put that there. I'm going to adhere it right at the edge of that envelope pocket there. You know, the flip. I'm going to adhere it on two sides, I think. Maybe three. Maybe up at the top, too. I haven't decided that yet. But I want a way to tuck things into there as well lots of little tuck spots so then the next thing that I was thinking I wanted to do was to take this piece and put this somewhere so I was looking at doing it up here so that part of it would go off the page and I kind of like that that's okay then I um, thought well maybe we can soften that bottom edge by putting some of this lace on there um, not so sure about that then over here on this side, I was thinking maybe um, to actually add a little bit of weight and almost like a handle to that flip up. I thought about maybe putting this flower over here. And then of course, you know, you could start talking about flowers and they need a little bit of contrast. So I was looking at that. Then, um, then the other thing that I was playing around with was to perhaps put now I don't know which side's which. I think it's this way. To put this here at the bottom. Yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I can't see from... I'm standing right now and I can't see it. Um, so to put that there and then maybe to put um, a flower there. Uh, but then we have all of this dark space up here. So I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with that dark space. So there's a possibility of adding um, some sort of a doily behind their heads. That actually, I haven't done that yet. That, that was new just now in the moment. Kind of like that. That's not bad at all. That kind of breaks that up a, a bit and makes that picture stand off. I kind of do like that. Um, then I, I was also looking at putting it up here off the top of the page, which also gives us some page edge stuff going on. Um, I also grabbed this, and now I don't remember what I had going on with this. 
But I do want to also put a paper clip here and I think I'm going to need a bigger paper clip and I don't think I have any here in the studio at least not that I'm aware of but what I want to do is put a paper clip right here that will go and will help to hold this envelope up a little bit and then on that I can put some sort of a tie or something so <clears throat> so that I have a little interest off of the edge of the page because um, I always like to have some interest going on. So that's where I'm at now. We'll see. Um, I'm not sure if you'll get to see the finished page this week in this week's vlog post or if it'll be next week. All right, friends, so this is where I'm at. It is basically the end of the day. It's time for me to clean up and get ready to um, make some calls and go home. So I changed this side up a whole lot. I decided that I did not want to use that precious piece of vintage, maybe even antique lace on this page. It was just too busy. So I used this instead. Um, I toyed with the idea of making it a belly band, but I kind of like it just over here as a tuck, um, right on the edge. I might, if I ever find something to put here, I might put something there. I don't know. I might even add another contrasting lace here if I find one. I did not find one easily um, in my studio <laughs> when I was starting to make a mess digging for things and decided that I didn't really want to make the mess. So um, I added this to oil. You can tell that the glue is not fully dry there. And uh, so then I also, I did the paper clip. So I just added a little um, piece of lace there. And instead of having it go all the way to the paper, because this applique piece here extends to the edge, I can just clip it onto that and it does the same thing. So that worked out really nicely there. So I added this and I added the flower and I did leave a space underneath this for um, something to be tucked if you know if I wanted to do that later so as I showed you before that flips down we can tuck something in there I glued this at the top and <laughs> so an emergency vehicle went by and I don't know if I had a good point to cut the video or not so we're going to start again here um, with this pocket. So I showed you the paper clip um, and then I glued this on here and I did leave a place for us to be able to tuck something in there if I should so desire. I can put it right there. Um, then this actually flips down as I showed you before and I can tuck something into the envelope. I adhered my photo here at the top and at the bottom so I can also tuck something in behind them should I choose to do so. And um, yeah, so that's it, at least for now. This is gonna kind of almost be like like a art journal in, in that I may go back and add things later. I don't know um, how it's gonna play out, but it's really nice to have this here. It's a nice go-to, um, easy to complete one, you know, one layout at a time kind of thing. And I don't have to feel like it's precious. Sometimes when I work in here, because I'm now in a working art studio, I feel like I need to create something always that I can mount and sell. <laughs> this book is probably not going to be for sale because the number of man hours that I put into a book like this, um, just far outweighs what I could ever sell it for um, possibly at least not here in the studio I couldn't so that's where I'm at now I will keep taking you along as I add new pages and I'm gonna turn you around and say goodbye I'm gonna keep working in that and then maybe it'll spark some ideas for other collages other things that I can do here um, to mountain frame in the studio. We'll see. Thanks for joining me on this journey of uh, having a working art studio. Uh, those of you that are coming over from my other channel, I appreciate you too. Thank you so much. Um, you guys really make this possible and I'm very, very grateful for you. If you guys aren't already subscribers of this channel, please consider doing so. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers so I can monetize and start helping <laughs> to pay for the studio that way. 
Um, you can also buy me a coffee and the links are down below. Another way that you can help the channel is just simply by liking and commenting. If you don't know what to comment, just say hi. That always is helpful and I love to say hi back. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Um, I'm losing my microphone cord. Stop it. So we're going to keep going and I will share with you the... So yeah, I will continue to work. Where is my camera at? There's the lens right over there. Oh my gosh. Am I even filming? I'm not even filming. No. I'm all confused because my camera's upside down. Let's turn this around.